Hello everybody and welcome to Ballistic Overkill. Ballistic Overkill is a FPS game that I found on Steam through Steam. Like it was, it came up on the side, and I was like, "Oh, what's this?" Uh, it said that it was a fast-paced uh, FPS game. You know, it had elements of you know progression elements, some a couple of loot box things here. I was like, "All right, sweet, let me try it." It was only a fiver. It was actually on sale. It was only a fiver. I was like, "Yeah, fuck it. You know what? I, I want a new FPS game. You know, get into or whatever else." And my God. What a decision it was to get this game. I uh, really, really, really enjoy playing this game. It is so fast. What is going on and what is happening? It, it just kind of, it fucks you off, but it fucks you off in a good way. Um, when it comes to Blessed Overkill, everything is broken up into classes. So, at the top here, you got the Berserker class, uh, Vanguard, Wraith, Shadow, Grenadier, Tank, and Marksman. Now, of course, as you know, most if you have any knowledge of sort of games like these, you all know that these classes all have different things. Like, so a tank, of course, has more health, has bigger guns, or whatever, moves slower. You know, you know all that kind of good shit. Uh, what else we got here? Grenadier, of course, you know, uses nade launcher, annoying fuck. Uh, Shadow, probably the worst fucking character in this fucking game by far. I hate Shadow so fucking much. Um, you can go invisible and shit, and yeah, it's uh, it's really fast, and yeah, fuck Shadow just. Uh, Wraith, a lot of people enjoy playing Wraith. I personally don't use a sniper class. Uh, I'm not very good at snipers on Ballistic Overkill, but I plan to get better. I plan to get better in the future. And you have, this is my main, I guess, Vanguard. It's just, I don't know, just like assault rifles, shotguns, just runs all over the place. I just I just enjoy that. Same thing as Barsaker, exact same thing, you know, runs about SMG mainly. Uh, runs about, just close range, just constantly. That's what I fucking love. Those two would probably have to be my main classes in this game. Um, don't play a Grenadier. Tank, I don't play Tank. Marksman, I don't know. I feel like I want to start playing Marksman because, um, you know, just precision shots. I'm all about those shots or whatever. But um, at the moment, Vanguard and Berserker are my top main thing. I've got three loadouts for each of them. All different guns and shit. Um, but we'll get into, that, get into that later. Get into that later. That is the classes anyway. Uh, but let's see if I can get in a game with you and show off my um, my terrible, terrible gameplay. <laughs> We're coming in the Knox Museum. Not too bad, not too bad. TDM. All right. So as you can see, this is the loadout. This is what you're greeted to once you have your class or whatever. Like I said, I main Burstaker and Vanguard, so I have all three loadouts available here compared to this. I barely play Wraith, so I only have one. Uh, main and Vanguard, so let's go. Let's go loadout one. <clears throat> go, go! Now, as you can already see, you're probably thinking to yourself, what is with these graphics? What kind of shitty ass graphics are these? Well, I don't really give a shit about graphics when it comes to games like these, because games like these are all about the gameplay. All about being, not a better player, but being able to take the good players on, if you know what I mean. So, skin, er, the graphics aren't really a huge concern in this. I personally don't care about them. And as well, on top of that, I have these set to low as well. So the settings I have set at the moment are set to low. Like I said, don't care for graphics when it comes to games like these. So, uh, yeah. There's nothing happening here. Although there's plenty of people on the damn team. Oh, no, no. oh shit. Okay. So, as I mentioned before, this is a very, very fast-paced game. Now, depending on who you're playing against, what kind of team, what kind of... Uh, what kind of classes you're up against, it can get very chaotic. Uh, like I said at the start, fuck Shadow. Um, you will more than likely see me and hear me rage a lot about Shadow because such a terrible class, like just a genuinely such a bad class. I hate it, I hate it so very fucking much. Ooh. Oh. And as you know, oh, uh, when it comes to when it comes to games like these, um, I do, not that I take it seriously, but, uh, I don't know, I play the objective a lot, you know? Okay. I play the objective quite a bit, so King of the Hill, uh, like, that's something that pisses me off about this here. Because it's such a fast-paced game, everybody seems to be all about the kills. That is fine in game rules like these, like Team Deathmatch, which is, li it's literally all about the kills. But King of the Hill, and people not bothering with the fucking objective, when that is how we win the damn game, it's, a uh, very frustrating indeed. Very, very frustrating indeed. Oh, uh, but Team Deathmatch, it is it is a really, really fucking good game to like get a grip of everything, you know, get a whole un being able to understand how the game works and everything this year because not everybody has a hundred HP. That is not how it works. And as, as you can see, bottom left, I have two hundred and fifty HP. Probably you're thinking, what the fuck is that? Because of the clash you're in? No. 
the reason that I have 50 extra HP than I normally would because of this class. But apart from that, no, um, everybody has 200 HP and it, it can get very, very frustrating when go, go. you full, don't fully understand how the HP system works and like how taking damage and shit like this here because on many occasions I have emptied a full clip, a full clip and I'm almost 100% sure that they, like they should be dead, but they don't. Then it turns out they have like, they still have HP left over. That is, the, and that is because of the amount of damage that your gun does compared to the amount of HP they do, just like in all games. But it was just really fucking weird in this game. It just really, really is weird. And until you understand it, it is, it is very frustrating. It really is. Because you just can't understand it. You put a full clip into one guy, you, you're almost 100% sure he should be dead. But he doesn't die. He still has like, fucking, I don't know. 100 HP left or some bullshit like that. Um, it all depends. Uh, your gun, where you're shooting from, and how much damage you're doing, all of that, all that good stuff. But the, the whole understanding, taking damage and giving damage, it needs to be understood before you can, uh, I, I guess, before you can get give this game a chance. Because that is that would more than likely be the, the, the thing that I think that would turn people most off about this is the whole how people take damage and how they receive damage. Here we go. Because people like me who who have who have been playing this game and kind of understands it more, we are far better off when it comes to games like this. We always finish usually top four, uh, top five even. And I killed myself. Fucking great. But yeah, us. But but finishing top four is always good shit. But like I said, that's how. That's that people always wonder like, well, what the fuck? Like, how are you so? How, like, how are you still alive or whatever? It's because we understand how the HP system works. We know like, oh, if I can run through this, I'm more than likely tank it sort of thing. Dead. One guy up here. I'm pretty sure there's another guy up here. Ooh, marginal stuff. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I need to go to the left hand side. I need to take out on that left hand side. Cause that's bullshit. I enjoy team deathmatch because it, it gets challenging. You know, there's no there's no real objective apart from just kill, which is good. Uh, especially when you want to, let's say, improve your aim or improve improve something along the lines of that, improving aim or improving your playstyle, messing about with stuff. King of the Hill and all that. It's more objective based. You know, there's you know I don't really care for kills. It's more about sort of getting on the point and making sure we got points on the board. Oh, that cunt! Like, come on! But yeah, some people are pretty good at this game. Some people do spend quite a bit of time in this game, and you can tell, you can tell that they do. Because, um, because some of the shots are landing, the shots are landing are, let's say, crazy, or, you know, shit like that there. But, as well, I'll show you now if, if he kills me again. He's not here anymore. Oh, not yet. Ah, so we're winning, but just about. We're winning by 15 kills with just over three minutes left on the board. Things, these things in this game do get pretty intense. Like if, if like it's mainly King of the Hill that gets more intense more than anything because it's just one point. You need to overtake it. It's all point space, and it's it's just oh, I'm dead. Oh. Oh my god. Some people are really, really fast reacting in this. Like, some of the, some people's reactions are questionable. But, uh, for the most part, it, they are legit and they just happen to be sinking just a lot of time into this game. Uh, which I have been doing myself. Bang. Really fucking fast. Everything happens really fast in this game. Which is a- Oh fuck! Fuck off! Like, come on! On. Let's go, let's go. Bitch! Nice, nice, nice. Area secure. Let's go, let's see if we can get some health. Really fucking low. Incoming. Yeah, boy! Oh shit, was that up top? Nice, go, 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 go. Here. Oh fucker! That is that cunt. Look at this, right? See the way it says Wraith, and his thing is gold. 
it means that he pretty pretty much majors in that class. It means that like he has maxed out the amount of levels you can get on that class. So when I see something like that, when I see when I see him land those kind of shots, it doesn't surprise me because all right, I can see you, you just by just like you can tell by his rank that all oh, this guy clearly sinks a lot of hours into this game. So it's best not to fuck with him too much. But uh, that's what I enjoy. I enjoy fucking with the ghouls. Yes, and there you are. There, that's my fucking re revenge kill right there. Up here, up here. They they're all, all, always seem to be up here for some reason. Oh, he got a fucking health kit. That saved your fucking ass, dude. I should have... Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you sink somebody with that many bullets and they don't drop? Yeah, it makes you go, what the fuck? Bitch, trying to fucking spawn count me. Nope. Alright, we're leading by like five kills. There's 40 seconds left. They can very, very, very easily come back from this. Very easily. Ah, oh, fucker. So that's what I mean by shadow. Shadow can go invisible, and when he does, I've learned that you know when when I hear that a certain noise, I turn around or whatever else. But oh my god, shadow can be such a pain in the ass. Like a really a good shadow player knows how to be annoying as fuck. Come on, we could so do this. How long? I don't even know how long's left. Oh. Did we win? We won. Yeah, boy! First game, first video, and it's a win. We won by six. Oh, GG, GG. But yeah, as you can see, really, really fast-paced game. You need to sort of keep up with what's going on in the classes and understand what, what's going on. Uh, okay, so XP. Nice little bit of XP. Uh, score, match one, and uh, consecutive game. Level 19, boy! Oh, yeah. What else we got? And this, this is our ranking system. Oh, come on. 390. Put me in the 390s. So as you can see, if I... The amount of games I play, I get these uh, points. And the points put you into tiers. So I'm in tier 7. You obviously have to make your way to tier 1. Tier 1 is like the um, the elite, I guess. And uh, that's is uh, promotion and demotion. This is how you get there. So at the moment, I'm global position 50. I'm 58. Apparently for this week, I think. I don't think it's like of all time. I think it's this week. So uh, one... 1400 points and I get a promotion and I'm very much looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get a good game and we got where we going. Team Deathmatch, capture point, capture point. Let's do a bit of capture point.